following handicap match is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, from Colorado Springs, Colorado, weighing in at 275 pounds, Bobby Wesley. Viva la raza! And the opponent, from El Paso, Texas, weighing in at 228 pounds, Eddie Guerrero! A big Southern California welcome to all our SmackDown fans. I'm Michael Cole, here with Taz at ringside in San Diego. Big shout out to all our great fans in the 619 area core here. I love San Diego, baby. No kidding, partner. San Diego couldn't be more excited for SmackDown action. And we couldn't be more excited to be here. Wow, talk about cutting it close. That was almost free. These WWE fans just can't get enough of these superstars. And I'm glad to see it. A WWE match isn't just about competition, it's also about entertaining the fans. Okay, well, if that's the case, how come they got you as an announcer? I mean, that ain't exactly great entertainment, in my opinion. You might be right. He can talk all he wants, Cole, but once he's lost the match, this guy's gonna wish that he spent more time going after his opponent. I think you're wrong about that, Taz. I think this is going to make his victory tonight that much sweeter. This capacity crowd is making their opinions known tonight. And there's the submission hold. What a deadly maneuver this is. You're not kidding, Cole. Wow, look at that submission. I ain't never seen it executed better. Here, my partner. And this might be enough to get a tap out right here. Great reversal. These fans have certainly rallied around Bobby Lashley, and it's not hard to see why. Lashley just needs to stay focused and take care of business right now in that ring. Lashley's made a name for himself doing exactly that task, and I don't see that changing anytime soon. That reversal might stop his opponent's momentum dead. Well, it looks like they're slowing the pace down a little bit here. That might not be such a good move in my opinion. Come on, you just can't keep going non-stop. That's a good way to wear yourself out and make a critical mistake. No, but you can't give the opponent any time to recover either. You gotta stay on him and wear him down. But what about picking your spot? If you try to execute a badly timed move just because you want to stay on offense, that could have a disastrous result. I'll tell you what, let me talk about what it's like to be in a match like this, and you can cover what it's like to whiten your teeth. Deal? He anticipated that. I don't think the fans like that one too much. <laughs> I'm sure this breaks this guy off. It should. These fans are the lifeblood of WWE. And he doesn't give a damn what they think. Watch it. He reversed it. Each of these competitors is looking for the slightest hint of weakness in the other. That's the law of the jungle, Cole. An injured superstar is like a wounded animal. It's survival of the fittest. And that also means that if you're not at 100%, you've got to be able to hide it from your opponent. You got that right, Cole. This business is as psychological as it is physical. You can't let your opponent think the easy pickings. Well, I wouldn't consider any of these superstars to be easy pickings. No matter how well, give him an A for effort. Yeah, and give him an F while you're at it. For no freaking way you're gonna lift him. Whoa! I think these fans have got a little something they want to share with us. That's their right to ask. They pay for their tickets after all. I gotta tell you, Cole, I thought I had this thing figured out. But now I got no idea how this is gonna end up. Neither do I, Taz. 
and I think it's that unpredictability that makes it so exciting. No doubt, Cole. I've seen superstars get a huge advantage over their opponents and still lose the match because they got sloppy. Anything can happen in WWE. An entire match can turn on one or two big moves. And that's why you can't take your eyes off the action for one second. You never know when something huge is going to go down. Great superstar, and there's no doubt about it. But he's got to keep his head in this match and quit playing to the crowd if he wants to walk out of here with the win. I think Eddie understands that there's more to this business than winning and losing tasks. Few superstars enjoy the kind of support Eddie has, and he'll remain in their hearts forever. Hey, I'm not saying it ain't nice to know the fans love you, Cole. I'm just saying it's nice to have your hand raised in victory after the match also. He's a big guy, no doubt about that. And he knows how to use that size and strength. You're kidding, right? It seems to me like those are Lashley's two biggest advantages. They've certainly served him well so far in his career. You keep telling yourself that, Cole. One thing I learned in my career is that the bigger they are, the harder they fall. Lashley's got to be careful. He might learn that the hard way tonight. Man, you just can't put anything over on these fans. You sure can. They see everything, and they'll let you know about it. Man, you talk about super Oh boy, looks like someone's moving up in the world. Oh man, I can't think of a lot more things more painful than getting your face planted into the rope like that. And that could affect his opponent's ability to see clearly for the rest of this match. What a vicious move, grinding your opponent's face into that ring rope. Hey, you do what you gotta do to win the match. That's what they say. Nice quick counter. I'll tell you, all the WWE superstars are legit tough guys. But these superstars are really raising a bar here tonight. They sure are, Taz. We're seeing some great intensity here tonight. And that's the name of the game, Cole, intensity. You gotta stay on your opponent until one of you can't go anymore. I think these superstars are well aware of that task. I think that's exactly what he knows his opponent is completely helpless to resist the submission hold. And that means you gotta either dig deep and find a way to break it, or you gotta just flat out tap out. Great seeing these athletes compete here tonight. I had a feeling they were gonna wind up against each other sooner or later. There were times when it seemed like it wasn't going to happen, but I can't tell you how glad I am that it did. That's for sure. You know, any time before these kind of combust. I don't know if this is such a good move. This could be disastrous. I think we're hearing the First Amendment in action here tonight. He was one step ahead on that one. Eddie Guerrero is one of my favorite superstars of all time, and I think these fans agree with me. It seems like being a crowd pleaser is another Guerrero family tradition. Speaking of traditions, Cole, let me ask you this. How come you always jump only with someone like JBL or Kurt Angle when they lie to the steal? But it's okay when Eddie does. I don't get that. I don't think it's okay when Eddie breaks the rules task. But you gotta admit, at least he's honest about it. It's right there in his entrance music. We lie, we cheat, we steal. Oh, okay, so I see. It's okay to be dishonest as long as you're honest about it. Here's your winner, Bobby Lashley. Subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update.